close close your eyes. Keep your mouth closed. Just, just you just stay relaxed and calm. It's gonna feel like something walking on you, obviously. Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. I've got a unboxing. Unboxing we've never done before on this channel, which is from the spider shop. My buddy Tyler Kirk up there. If you watched the uncut video the other week with Dave Kaufman at the Texas show, mentioned and saw Tyler there and mentioned that he was going to be bringing us up to the PAC NWS Pacific area convention. Anyway, the, the reptile show up in the uh, Tacoma area, Washington. So I haven't been to the Northwest in forever. And I mean, I used to live up there, so it's a pretty cool spot. But got this cool box from Tyler. Uh, I've got some educational shows coming up and we've been missing um, one of these that are shows as of late. So I'm just going to open this sucker up, see what we got here. And uh, thank you to Tyler for sending this out. And let's take a look-see at what's happening inside of this box, shall we? That's a cool little note on there. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good marketing right there. I, I've got a feeling it will count that I've put it on YouTube and not Facebook, but and we've got a tube here. There's a, that's a tube. Uh, we actually have two tubes. I was not expecting two tubes. Sorry, this whole time I have not been recording with my good microphone. At least we've got a decent microphone right there. So it wasn't total loss, but now it's going to sound a lot better for you. There's spiders in here. I do not know how to say it. I'm going to butcher this. Aphanopelma. Aphanopelma. Aphanopelma hensi. Hensi. Aphanopelma hensi. And also... Alphanopelma, Alphanopelma hensi. So we've got two Alphanopelma hensi, and you can't see them yet. I've got a feeling I'm going to, I don't know, I'm probably going to regret whatever I decide to do here. You know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do, because I have something, I have an enclosure for the big one that Tyler also sent. We'll do an unboxing of that. Um, so I'm going to open the big one first, and then I can put the little one into the big one. That makes sense. Let's have a look here. I've never, I, I've seen this before now since I've done that filming for how people ship spiders. I, I recognize this technique of, of packing. But I, so I'm glad I know what I'm doing now. Otherwise, if I hadn't made those videos, I would have no idea what this process was of what I was about to do. But you can see right in there, there's a little Spidey. A little Spidey just hanging out doing his thing. And he is a he, and he will be on top of some kid's head at a birthday party very soon. Why don't we take him out? So I'm going to read a little bit right here. I'm just no longer have any kind of aversion to spiders. I, they're totally cool with me. Just kind of unroll you. And he's doing a little roly-poly move. And I think he's pretty much chilling. Ooh, look at that leg. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Look, you, you're out now. You don't have to, you got a leg stuck on that paper towel. You need some help? I got you. There we go. Got that leg nice and unhooked. There you go. Spider life. What's up, dude? Got a nice fat abdomen. And he seems super chill. Tyler sent me a bunch of information over about this, so I'm just going to read verbatim what he sent because Tyler definitely knows his stuff. Phanopelma hensi is a medium-sized tarantula native to Texas. They and others from genus Aphanopelma are great for beginner keepers. They have a very mellow temperament, and while they do possess urticating hairs like most other New World tarantulas, they rarely utilize them. Urticating hairs are microscopic barbed hairs they use to defend themselves from predators. The spider will use its back legs to kick them off into the air, and the hair causes an itching sensation. Years ago, itching powder was made from tarantula hairs. They're even less likely to bite. While all tarantulas are considered venomous, these in particular have very mild venom, and envenomation would be likened to a bee sting. In the wild, these spiders can be found in grassland fields, under rocks, logs, and in burrows. They either occupy abandoned burrows or dig their own. They are ambush predators and will sit and wait for prey items to come to them. Crickets, moths, and other invertebrates make up their diet. Females remain in their burrows unless they are somehow forced to leave. Males will also occupy their burrows for a long time, but when they mature, they will leave in search of females. This is a slow-growing species reaching maturity at about five, four to five inches of leg span in five years or more. Females are claimed to live upwards of 20 years while males live shorter lives. When a male matures, they typically lose interest in food and their priority of mating takes precedence. Males will live five to seven years. 
In captivity, these are very easy as pets. As they live in burrows in the wild, they do not require much space. And the common recommendation for housing tarantula is to offer an enclosure that is three to four times of the leg span. So a full grown hensi will only require a 12 inch tank approximately. They utilize depth of substrate, so offer at least six inches of depth or offer other hides. The tarantula will do well to have the option to hide like many reptiles. Other decor is mostly personal preference for the keeper. However, keeping fresh water available is great. In the wild, these tarantulas will experience the varying seasons, and this lends to their tolerance of a range of conditions from dry to wet and low to high temps. Offering a humidity gradient within the enclosure is good. Overflowing the water dish once a week is typically plenty. Heating and lighting elements are not needed. They do not require UVB. Room temperatures are adequate. These animals also have... Oh, look how chill. Super chill. Super duper chill. Yeah, look at you, buddy. You're cruising. That's awesome. I am happy. This is a good day. What are we going to name him? Oh, hey. hey. What do you think about me putting a tarantula on your face? I can't wait. Love to. <laughs> you can't wait. You'd love to. Wait. Are you serious? Um, no, but I, yeah, cool. You're, cool. You're just cool with having trash. I'm, st I'm starting a new trend. You're starting a new trend? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Trench there. Tar 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 Are you serious? Like, you're going to come lay on this table right here and I'm going to put this trash on your face? Sure. He's cute. He's super cute. This is my first time seeing him. All right. Come lay on my table. Marv. All right. You got <laughs> just keep, keep your eyes closed. Close your eyes. Keep your mouth closed. Mm -hmm. Just, just, you just stay relaxed and calm. It's going to feel like something walking on you, obviously. So I just want, I wanted to talk about the tarantula crawling on Hillary's face there for a second, because obviously there's, there's some reasons. One being definitely clickbait, getting people to watch the video, but two showing how docile they are. And I know there's probably some concerns about the urticating, the urticating hairs and like possibly getting there. And that's why a made sure she kept her eyes closed the whole time and B really assessed that this tarantula is very docile and has not kicked a single hair, no matter how I kind of messed with it. So yeah, with given those reasons, that's, that's why, you know, haters will hate, but those are, I thought were good reasons to show that these things are not out to get you. They're, they can be docile, awesome pets that can just hang on your face for short periods of time. <laughs> and I, I thought it was cool. And I thought that I couldn't believe that she was actually willing and just walked in. I was like, sure, I'll put them. I was expecting a no. I was not expecting, yes, I will let you put a tarantula on my face. That is not the answer I was expecting. So I figured I should take advantage of that moment and uh, capture it for all history. Anyway, yeah, I think we're done here. You guys have a great day.